In this video, I'd like to show you how to draw a diagonal corner cabinet, a diagonal upper corner cabinet to be exact. And uh, to start, we're going to do it over in this corner here. So you can see I've got my line up here at 54 inches, which is where the bottom of my cabinets start. Got a line out here 13 inches and 13 inches, uh, which is the depth of my upper cabinets. So the first thing I have to decide is where uh, I want the corner cabinet to end. And you may have to experiment with this, and sometimes it's it's uh, you're constrained by other cabinets or features in the ca uh, kitchen. But I'm gonna um, I'm going to come out. Uh, I'm gonna use this tool up here, which is the construction line tool. And that is um, actually I'll show the tool palette. So that's the construction plus um, tool set. And you can get that off of our website for free under SketchUp plugins, free plugins. And it's a handy tool because what it does is gives us a point on this line that we can we can snap to when we're doing our story stick. So I'm going to come out here uh, 28 inches, and that is going to be the ending point of our diagonal corner cabinet. <clears throat> So to start, uh, we choose the story stick as usual. We're going to go right here at the intersection of these two lines. And we're going to put a style there. And this is a special kind of style. We're going to go down here into our cor corner cabinet uh, choices. And what this is called is it's called a pivot style. And we have a variety of pivots. Um, and what that is actually going to be is when it's done, it's going to be the style that's over here. And since I want that to connect to another cabinet, I'm actually going to make that a right pivot connector style. So it's the right hand side of this cabinet here. And you'll see how this works in a second. And then I'm going to go all the way to the other end of my cabinet, which I've already marked. And we're going to make that a left end panel because it's now. Um, going to be part of a standard cabinet over there so uh, we don't get any more pivot choices and right here is going to be the end of the corner cabinet and it's going to be a connect automatically a connector style between these two cabinets so that's all there is to it I'm going to hit command or end but this time I'm going to select a diagonal corner upper and I'm just going to have one door in that because it's not that wide and then the other box here, we're just going to make that a standard upper with two doors. There we go. And this is a face frame version. So now if I want to draw my next cabinet over here, I need to overlap this style. You can see this style is kind of special because it's got this angle on it here. But it is, if I go to my tape measure tool. If I look at it, it's an inch and a half wide, which is what my um, connector styles are set up as. And you can see I've got, it made this a connector style. I've got connector holes in here. I can use those to connect to this next cabinet. So I'm going to do a story stick here. I'm going to overlap this guy. And I'm going to call this a left end connector style so that I get the connector holes in there. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make this a uh, right end uh, panel. And that's all we got. So we'll hit end. And we're just going to make this a standard upper two doors. And there we go. Now, if we look here, what this is telling us is we've got this style belonging to this cabinet overlapping. So I'm going to right click and unlock and just hit delete. So that got rid of that extra style and we've got our cabinets connected. So that's all there is to uh, the diagonal corner cabinet. But what I'm going to do is uh, do it again and show you how to do it with uh, frameless. It's basically the same thing but uh, let's just take a look. Let me go to a fresh file here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose frameless. 
and this is basically turning everything off. So we're just going to draw it um, as raw frameless as we can here. So again, I'm going to choose my construction line tool. And let's go out the same 28 inches. I just type in, I drag it out there and I type in 28 and hit return. And go back to our story stick. Same thing, we go to this intersection here, come out, we choose right uh, pivot connector right here. If we were going this direction, when we drew our pivot going this way, it would be a left end pivot. And then I'm going to go down here. Oops. Let me go down here. And this will just make a uh, left end panel. And then here we go. We'll put our <coughs> connector style in there. And I'm going to hit Command or End. Again, the diagonal corner upper, one door. Then this box will be a standard upper, two doors. And there we have our corner cabinet, but this time it's it's a frameless variety. So now if we want to draw this cabinet over here, what I'm going to do is measure from here to the wall. It's 28 and 3 quarters. So I'm going to go grab my tool here and come out 28 and 3 quarters. So that gives us a point to start from that's at the border here of these two cabinets. So now I just grab my story stick again. And we'll make that a left end connector again so that we get our connector holes. And we'll come out here and we'll make this a right end panel. And choose a standard upper, two doors. And there we've got a corner cabinet. That's all there is to it. Good luck.